Hello friends, welcome to the channel Mechanics of Solids. In this section, we will solve numericals on composite structures. Here, we have provided with the three bars which are unequal in length. Let us see. This is a platform. In this platform, we have two copper bars of same length and one steel bar of unequal length. So, this is fixed here and on the top of these three bars there is a load of 370 kilo newton that will try to compress these bars. This is a composite structure. This is a problem with the bars of different length. We are asked to find stress on the copper and stress on the steel. This is our question. So this is a copper bar, this is a steel bar and this is another copper bar. For solving this problem, they provided elastic models of steel is equal to 2 into 10 raised to 5 newton per mm square. Elastic modulus of copper is equal to 1 into 10 raised to 5 newton per mm square. Length on the steel, length of the steel is equal to 25 centimeter that is equal to 250 mm. Length of the copper rod is equal to 15 centimeter that is equal to 150 mm. Area of the copper is given as 1600 mm square. Area of the steel is given as 2500 mm square. Then calculate stress on the copper and stress on the steel. Now, this is a composite structure. Where to start? How to start? Yes, 370 kN is trying to compress this copper bar and steel bar and copper bar equally because the lower end is fixed. So, we can say that whatever compression, that is change, whatever change in dimension occurring due to compression will be the same for copper, steel, copper and steel. So I am writing delta L that is the change in dimension. This here delta L is shortening. Anyway, delta L for the steel should be equal to delta L for the copper. This is our statement. Now, give a substitution for delta L. You all know what Hooke's law is. Stress is directly proportional to strain or stress is equal to a constant into strain or stress divided by strain is equal to the constant elastic modulus yeah sigma divided by e is equal to strain sigma divided by e is equal to delta l by l from here delta l is equal to sigma l divided by e this is the equation what we are formulating from Hooke's law Therefore, applying this delta L here, sigma of the steel into L of the steel divided by E of the steel is equal to sigma of the copper into length of the copper divided by E of the copper. Now, writing sigma S in terms of sigma copper, sigma steel is equal to length of the copper into length of the copper divided by length of the steel into elasticity of the steel divided by elasticity of the copper into sigma copper substituting sigma s is equal to length of the copper is 150 mm given length of the steel is 250 mm it is given Elasticity of the steel is 2 into 10 raised to 5. Elasticity of copper is 1 into 10 raised to 5 into sigma copper. On solving this, we will get sigma S is equal to 1.2 sigma copper. So, we have a relation for sigma S here. Now, we can make use of the second inference what we studied in the first lecture for composite structures. That is, the load on the copper bars plus load on the steel bar is equal to 370 kilonewton because this 370 kilonewton is acting on this copper and the steel. 
therefore load on the steel plus load on the copper is equal to what 370 kilo newton 370 kilo newton yes easy load on the steel load is equal to stress into area fine stress on the steel into area of the steel plus stress on the copper into area of the copper is equal to 370,000. So we know here copper rods, there are two copper rods. We need to consider the area for two copper rods. Therefore, we are considering a 2 here. Area of the copper rod, we are taking 2 times is equal to 370,000. Now we have sigma S is equal to 1.2 sigma copper. 1.2 sigma copper into area of the steel is 2500 plus sigma of the copper into area of the copper into 2 1600 into 2 is equal to 370,000. Solving you will get a sigma copper value around 59.67 Newton per mm square give sigma copper value here you will get a sigma s is equal to 74 sorry 71.64 Newton per mm square so we have the answer here now we are also finding the load on this copper and steel bar load is load on the steel is equal to load on the steel is equal to stress on the steel into area of the steel stress on the steel is 71.64 into area of the steel area of the steel how much it is area area of the steel is 2500 so we can calculate the area 2500 into 71.64 this is 179 kilo newton 179 100 is coming so 179 kilo newton now load on copper is equal to stress on the copper into area of the copper this area you need to consider two times since there are two bars that is equal to 59.67 into 1600 into 2 how much it is coming? We can check. Uh, thousand fifty nine point six. This is one ninety one kilo newton. So we can add this one seventy nine plus one ninety one three seventy kilo newton is coming. Okay. This is how we solve the problems for composite structures if the bars are having different length. Okay. Thank you.